I'm Pat Bohannon with the TCEQ SWCM team, which is Surface Water Quality Monitoring. I'm an aquatic scientist. I've been with the agency about 15 years this month. We are out here uh, doing some West Bay and Christmas Bay seagrass sampling. We're also getting a lot of help from the TCQ Houston region because they actually work down in these bays a lot so they have a lot more common knowledge how to get around. We've got two staff from UTMSI down in Port Aransas. They do a lot of seagrass work in the lower part of the coast and then there's three of us from central office and we've also got one participant from Texas Parks and Wildlife. Seagrasses are pretty much limited by the sunlight and the further up the coast you get, the water is more cloudy, so the seagrasses are going to be in more shallow water. The root system, that the rhizomes that are under the sediment, those help keep the sediment in place so it keeps a lot of erosion from the bays, so it keeps the bays a lot clearer. So a healthy seagrass community usually indicates a healthy uh, bay ecosystem. So now we're going to collect water samples. We're going to collect uh, water for chlorophyll A and also total suspended solids. And we'll take those to the TCEQ laboratory in Sugarland and have those analyzed. So these are the quarter square meter uh, quadrats that they're using. So at each corner of the boat, they're going to take these measurements. They just kind of toss it out, not really aiming at anything in particular. So it just goes down. If they can see it, they can look at it and get estimated estimate the, the cover of the seagrass. If not, then they have to go underwater and just kind of do it tactily with their hands. So they just kind of feel and try to guess uh, the percent. And also if they see more than one species, they're trying to estimate the percent cover of each species. So it's all going to come out to 100 percent, but it could be 50 percent one and 50 percent other or something like that. What we see from the boat or the surface is the, the seagrass shoots, the green part that's going above it but 60% to 80% of the actual seagrass biomass is growing in the sediment. And that's what you see here, the little rhizomes and the white parts. That's all the part that's in the sediment. But this is Thalassia testudinum, which is also called turtle grass. Sea, sea, grass, sea turtles feed on these sometimes. Seagrasses are threatened naturally by storms, hurricanes coming in and, and whipping up the water, but there's also some anthropogenic or human-induced problems sometimes, like dredging, or the more people that you have urbanizing the coast. There's a threat of nutrient enrichment in the bays, which can lead to algae blooms and declines in seagrass, or uh, just commercial and recreational fishermen. So y'all uh, spent the day with us. We did got six sites done in Christmas Bay. We're going to spend the next two days and do 36 more in West Bay up by Galveston. So uh, this is just kind of a coast-wide program that we're participating in. We're getting the upper part of the coast. So we're just trying to get some baseline conditions so and make people more aware of the seagrass.